Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another review from me, Matt, the Bitterbazaka. Hope you guys are having a great day. Second review today, trying to play catch up with work and everything else and all the reviews and stuff. I hope you guys are keeping safe and well out there and having a great day. It's cleared up a bit. Look really moody as buggery this morning. Now sun's come out. It's still damn cold, but that's what you get, I suppose, in October. Mm -mm -mm. Before I get started, huge, massive, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you guys for all the support that I'm getting over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt. And here on my Beard of Berserker YouTube channel, thank you guys. Well on the way now to a thousand subscribers. I think I'm at 970. So if I do hit a thousand subscribers, like I said before in other videos, I'm going to do the motherload of all giveaways. And to be in with a chance of that, you do need to have subscribed to the channel because this channel is not about me. It's about small brands, individuals and craftsmen out there that are making some amazing products. And all the reviews that I do on my channel, completely honest, completely unbiased, and everything I do is my own opinion. And I don't think these small brands, individuals and craftsmen get enough kind of credit for what they do because they're in direct competition with other brands, huge, massive, faceless brands. And kind of craftsmanship is a bit of a dying art, if you know what I mean. At one point, everything used to be made by hand. Now less and less is being made. And I do like it when these people have hobbies and skills that they're creating some absolutely amazing things. And this is all about showcasing what they do. So I'm gonna need my glasses for this, otherwise I can't see buggery. And this afternoon's, mm -mm -mm, can I get coffee? Uh, this afternoon's review has been very, very kindly sent through from Wild Art Leather. Links will be down below as always in the description box, so please show him some support, give him a help and a follow. On Instagram, he's known as at custom, one of them lowy slash things, playing card lowy slash things cases. And basically, he creates handmade leather playing card cases and been very, very kind and sent me through one to have a look at, see what I think of, give you guys my honest opinion. Uh, we'll talk about prices at the end of it. But basically, you think it, he will create it, create some amazing pieces. Now, first of all, each case that is made, um, playing card case, comes in a little bag. And this bag, believe it or not, uh, the bag that it came in is being made by his daughter. And she basically, it's nice when sort of families help and sort of help to create stuff and everything. And people show an interest. And it's a nice little bag, actually. It's kind of lined with cotton, which is cool. All stitched um, with some nice leather cord holding it together. Really, really nice case. I like, I like the packaging as well as the products. You know, it's nice. Like I said, when people sort of take that bit of extra time with the packaging and not just the products. So really, really nice. Thank you so, so much for creating that. I shall keep my card case in it. Also, was a scrolly note inside, which we'll go into in just a second, because each case that he creates, basically he does a little story with, which is really cool. He never repeats the same case twice, which is really cool to see. Um, so there's nobody else in the world gonna have the same case as you. Now, as you know, I've done reviews before on Cowboy, Wild West, Western stuff, Outlaws stuff before, because I do like the whole Clint Eastwood films and Wild West and that sort of thing. Love it to pieces. And my dad was into it. Um, well, he's always been into his Westerns and Wild West films and everything. So this kind of piece was a bit of him in there and a bit of me on there. And this is the case that he's created. It's very kindly as well. Put some playing cards in there, which I do need to get some decent playing cards because I don't have any. This is the only pack, believe it or not, of playing cards that I actually do have. So I do need to purchase a decent pack of playing cards for me case. Cohort Classics playing cards, MMI. Luxury pressed, E7 stock. Here you go, just regular playing cards. But the case itself. So I like distressed stuff. I don't like, um, especially with leather, stuff that's kind of crispy and new. I like that whole worn look. <clears throat> kind of adds to the, the feel and patination and everything. So this is what is created. I've got some photos on my phone, which I'll show you in just a second of it being created. It's gone for the turquoise and red uh, colouring to it. 
So you've got Bearded Outlaw on the back and my initials, MP, because that is my initials. Cowboy boots and hat on there and number 13, which my lucky number is number 13. Really, really nice, well put together. Decent thick grade quality uh, leather as well. Decent snapper on there, um, which does hold. And as you can see, he's put some kind of like, is the word beveling? I don't know. Some sort of around there, relief, around the relief work. Everything is pressed in there, all the design, so it's not just drawn on there. Really nice to see. And you've got elastic at the sides for putting your playing cards in. And also had a thought with this, because it's a horrible habit, I know, and it's a bit disgusting, but you can also put cigarettes in there. Cigarette boxes, cartons. Um, so it's nice. Oh, alternative use for it. So the actual note that came with it, I see all kind of like, I think it's distress, well, it's distress paper. It? It gives you that old look feel, the outlaw, which is what this is called. This case is called the outlaw. He walked into the saloon with a swagger. I walk with a swagger because I've got problems with me right leg. So it's not so much a swagger, it's more of a limp. His sidearm strapped to his leg, his silhouette stood at the doorway, the sun set like a fire behind him and the dust blowing in as the door swung behind him. Don't know why I've suddenly gone into that accent, but there you go, bear with me. He strode over to the table in the corner and sat down. I knew who this guy was. I'd heard the stories, and by the looks of him, they were true. His beard was black, mine was grey and blonde. Mine looks like a technicolour beard. Um, black, he reached down to the table, his eyes menacing, and without saying a word, his demeanour said, don't even think about it. Across his hand was tattooed the number 13. Rumour had it the number of people he had taken out in a duel. That is not true with me. I've not taken anyone out in a duel. He took off his hat, laid it proudly in front of him on the table. He was simply known as the outlaw. Hope you enjoy this case. Many thanks. Reese at Wild, Leather, uh, Wild Art Leather. So really nice. Just kind of... An extra added touch so I've got some fair tears on my firm which I shall show you kind of like the design process and he was constantly backwards and forwards with me what do you think of this how would you like that and then when someone's going to create something I've got kind of a rough idea but it's like you're the creator you're the craftsman you do what you do so hopefully this will show up this is well, it's not going to show up I'll do it at an angle um, 13 being on there and all the punching and everything and you've got it doesn't show when i hold it up a bit if i hold it about that way yeah it does slightly um so you can see the actual artwork going into it and the number 13 i actually like the leather color at that stage as well i like tanned leather I'm not in the black leather so much but i like tan and brown and then you've got the cowboy boots and hat and the little flower and basically this chap as well is self-taught, he he's learned uh, from scratch and apparently uh, he's learned a lot from his wife as well who's a leather crafter. So it's nice. And that was kind of the whole thing before the distress work and everything went into it and stitching. And then finally finished. So every step of the way he was literally getting in touch with me, how do you like this, what do you think of that, do you want orange and red um, stitching on it and I went just for the red because I think the red contrasts well with the blue and it is literally a thing of beauty, I love this, it's going to last years to be honest, like I said the stitching on it is really thick heavy duty stitching, nice decent thick leather, I like the distressed look of it as well, the worn look and um, I've lost my notes again, <laughs> And prices on this do vary. Prices start at around about £50, but vary depending on the artwork that you want doing on it. And apparently this one, if you want something similar or like it, will be around about £70. And I've just noticed on this that there's actually kind of like, it's lined as well, kind of like a suede leather lined. So it's not just a single piece of leather, it's actually lined leather as well, kind of like a soft suede feel. But absolutely beautiful. I love the craftsmanship that's gone into it. I love the little touches. Absolutely well worth the money. I love the fact that you can have whatever you want done on it. And all I need to do now is to get myself a decent set of playing cards to go in there to do it justice. Because me and my wife, we do play cards. I'm not a gambler. Um, 
I gamble enough in life with smoking and work and everything else. But there you go. Thank you so, so much, Reese and his daughter, for creating the bag. And like I say, thank you so much, Wild Art Leather. Links will be down below. Hope you've enjoyed this little review. If anyone out there does need any help, support, or anything, please get in touch with me. I'd love to hear from you. Amazing craftsmanship and work from Wild Art Leather. Thank you so, so much. That will be pride of place on my shelf just there, which has got my other bits and pieces and gubbins on. So whatever you're getting up to, whatever you're doing, keep on taking care of each other, keep on helping, supporting each other, and above all, because you only live once, keep on loving each other, stay happy, stay healthy, love more than you hate, have a great afternoon, and I look forward to hopefully seeing you guys soon in another review from me, Matt, the Bearded Berserker. Really want to keep this channel going. Have a great one, guys. Thank you so, so much to Reese. Have a good afternoon. Thank you.